1964, General Jack Ripper, commanding officer of Burpelson Air Force Base, warned President Johnson that he had every reason to believe that there was an existing communist plot to poison the American water supply. Johnson promptly relieved the son of a bitch of his command, citing paranoid schizoid tendencies. The truth is a bit more disturbing. My name is Jack and this is my story. Hell, this is our story. It's an American story. New information found in the recent discovery of a Nazi Arctic base shines new light on Ripper's accusations, and it adds clarity to the murky historical trail that leads to the communist conspiracy to poison small-town America's water supply. Documents found at the excavation of hidden treasure reveal that the Nazis were actively engaged in circular aircraft design in the early mid 1930s. The program, known as V7, employed new tantalizing vertical lift design, technologies that would not be realized for at least another 50 years. One astounding document, a passenger list of 275 names, slated for departure aboard a Hambu 3 type craft, listed as Die Glock. Their destination? The far side of the friggin' moon. In 1947, a circular craft crashed in the hot New Mexico desert just outside Roswell. American intelligence was shocked discovering human remains, later identified as Jacob Sporenberg, a known SS officer who had been extradited to Poland and reportedly hanged a year earlier. Much more astounding, two survivors, two small gray humanoids who were without question not human, known as Mona and Lisa despite gender identification. Both grays freely told of how the Nazis had crashed on the moon and would have certainly died had they not been there to render assistance. Both Mona and Lisa described in separate interviews how the humans, in short order, displayed aggressive tendencies, and it was only a matter of time until the Nazis were in control of the small and protected base. Truman, in light of these revelations, convened a scientific panel known as Majestic 12, headed by Dr. Vandiver Bush, father and grandfather of two future U.S. presidents. Truman's purpose in establishing Majestic 12 was dual. First to cover up the presence of UFOs, aliens, and the potential Nazi threat, as well as back-engineer alien technologies wherever possible, to prepare for what President Truman believed would one day be an extraordinary confrontation. Interrogations with Mona and Lisa provided an ability to contact and create an alliance with their race. And part of their alliance with us was their surrender of a non-intervention treaty they had with other non-humanoid species. What started out as minor experiments by the greys on flora, small animal life, quickly accelerated into careless cattle mutilations and human abductions all of which we were unable to stop. And by the early 1960s, it was clear we had a national security problem. We had lost all control over the alien presence and the Nazi threat was still actively out there. When Kennedy took office, the president quickly devised a plan to combat the threat. That plan was simple. Take the war to the Nazis on the moon and disclose to the global community the existence of the alien present and their involvement in geopolitical economies and politics. That plan never came to be. Kennedy's assassination was a clear message to world leaders. 
Johnson knew Ripper's claim of poisoning our water supply was factual. He was powerless to stop it. Russian KGB at that time, they were little more than puppets in a growing Nazi alien alliance. Uh, links are in the description. Check it out. Give me a thumbs up. I'll take a thumbs down. Leave a comment. Do what you need to do. Uh, suggestions for future videos. Check them out. Check me on my website. www.robpaxton.com.me Me. Well, all that's left to do is a uh, shot. Oh, that was Patron. Ooh. Oh, shit. I got to go to work today. Man, what the fuck? See you, friends. Enjoy. Life is good, and it's election day as I do this. And I voted. I did.